What's up, community? Welcome back to Breakdown, the show that every single day convinces me that the internet was a horrible idea. Ah, uh, and today's no exception. So recently, people have decided to ignore, quite possibly, the single greatest medical breakthrough ever. In the grand year of 1798, there's this guy, his name was Louis Pasteur, I probably said that wrong, I don't care, who invented a thing called vaccines. And they're wonderful! They're so good! L literally! They've eradicated diseases in so many parts of the world. And recently, we've decided to be just stupid. Recently on the internet, more jokes have been like popping up about, hey, look at this, uh, some like five-year-old kids playing like in the street or something, and here's the anti-vax kid, and like there's nothing. Because kids that don't have vaccinations die at age like three. And that's supposed to be the joke, but it's not a joke! And recently, there has been this group of people that believes that vaccines are a bad thing. We're not going to vaccinate our kids. Instead, we're going to fight diseases the old way and die. And so we've decided to completely ignore the, the single greatest breakthrough in medical history ever, of the last ever, all because, like, granola millennials want their organic babies or something like that. Like, uh, I, I don't know why. There's no good reason not to vaccinate your kid. None. Tell me, tell me. How else are you going to fight yellow fever or polio or smallpox or, 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 or influenza A? You're not going. No, Karen. Your essential oils are not an effective combatant against the plague. That's not a thing. You're going to fight the mumps with acupuncture. Really? Your steady diet of, of salad and kale is not going it, to... Not, it's not going to beat polio. Okay. Okay, before I get too upset, I'm going to talk about exactly what vaccines are and why nobody has an excuse not to get vaccinated. Basically, this is how vaccines work. A vaccine is a small, weakened down version of a virus or a bacteria or something. When I say weakened down, basically, the vaccine is the same disease, but with only what's called the antigens. They take out the stuff that makes you puke up blood, and the stuff that makes your skin the color yellow, and the stuff that makes you cold, and the stuff that makes you throw up, and the stuff that makes you, you vomit, and the stuff that makes your eyes, like, turn into your skull. All, all the horrible parts of these diseases are taken out, and only the antigens are there. So what it does, it releases the antigens into the body so that your white blood cells, the soldiers of your body, your immune system, can say, oh, that, that's not supposed to be there we should make what's called antibodies, which fight antigens, so we can uh, eradicate that thing from, from our body because we don't want to be crippled for the rest of our life because that's polio. They get a beat up, basically a weakened down plush animal of the actual vaccine. This is like, like your body learning to fight a teddy bear before it has to fight an actual bear so that it recognizes, oh, hey, that's a bear. I should probably shoot it later. When a bear comes along, it doesn't rip you up into 8 million pieces and eat you. No, you're just like, oh, there's a bear. Boom. Learned how, learned how to do that from the vaccine. Thanks, parents, for vaccinating me. This way, I don't have to die of, of Q fever. So that's how vaccines work. Like, like there's, there's some doctor somewhere who's going to explain it better than I will. But, but basically, it, it trains your body to fight off all these horrific diseases like, I know mumps sounds like it's like, it's like, oh, look, you just mumps. It's like little bumps on your skin. People haven't died from that in the tens of millions. Oh, tuberculosis. No biggie. I got my essential oils. Why not? Tetanus? Love it. Bring it on. Cholera? Q fever? Yellow fever? Polio? Love that. Mumps? The measles? The plague? I can handle it. Vaccines? Only like... 99.9997% safe. I'm not gonna get those. Right. This bridge over shark infested water is only gonna work 99.999% of the time. Now, I think I'll swim. What's wrong with you? No! Here are the common objections to not getting vaccines. So the number one reason that people don't get their kids vaccinated is that vaccines cause autism. Oh my gosh, no, they do not. Vaccines do not cause autism. They never have. All right, this, this, this was brought up in a, like a 1978 study by an, like an independent researcher who basically got paid millions of dollars by other medical companies to say that vaccines cause autism. The study was thrown out on 17 different accounts and was overturned by 52 independent studies. Vaccines 
Do not cause autism. That's not a thing. Don't let your kid die of Q fever because you, you're stupid enough to just read a Facebook post and take it take it at face value. Yeah. Guess what else is on Facebook? Apparently Donald Trump and Bill Nye have both died. Uh, Mount Rushmore is just a geological anomaly. The Titanic, large airplanes, and dragon fruit don't exist. And there's no I in happiness. Forgive me for being skeptical of what I read on Facebook. Nope, vaccines cause autism, so now my kid has whooping cough. The other reason not to, that people are not vaccinating is that it's more natural. Yeah, it is more natural. That's why 8 million people have died from it. You know what else is natural? Like, drinking still water. You, you know what else isn't natural? The internet. The thing where you thought that vaccines were a bad idea. Yeah, you're right. Let's go back to our caveman ancestors. Where everybody dies at 33, we live in caves and we paint with the blood of the, the most recent animal kill while it's being skinned with a knife that, that also killed the other tribe. Yeah, yeah, let's, let, let's go back to, to ancient nature. Why not? No! B before you don't vaccinate, live without air conditioning, internet, car, bicycle, none of that. Like, comfortable clothes? That's not a thing either. Prepared food? Nope. You gotta go out and kill all your own game. You gotta live in a cave. None of that. Yeah, let's let's go back to nature. Go outside. Go outside and live in nature. No, I'm gonna take my civilization the way I like it. Comfortable. And without polio. Yeah, it's also natural to go out hunt with spears and like in our hunting party of five, you have like three of us killed by by, by wild boar. No! Oh no! I'm gonna be chilling in my air-conditioned house with the internet, in 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 with electricity. Electricity's not natural. I'm chilling with my Project Salt hoodie because I like modern manufacturing. Thank the Lord. Talking into a mic while you watch this on the internet. None of that's natural. That's not a, that's not a reason either. Live without internet before you don't vaccinate your kid. Everyone's vaccinated, so we have herd immunity. That means my kid doesn't need to get vaccinated. No, your, your kid needs to get vaccinated. I'm going to take you to a story all the way back to 2018. Actually, a little bit before that. Because Argentina had almost completely gotten rid of the measles. Yeah, yeah. Almost gone thanks to what? Not acupuncture or essential oils. None of that, or a healthy diet of strong kale. No, none of that, because of vaccines. But then, you know what happened? Parents got stupid. If all of the other kids are vaccinated, that means measles is dead. No, that's not what it means. So you know what took an opportunity to get back in Argentina? The measles. Oh yeah, it, it knocked, it, it, was, it was welcomed in. We just welcomed right in by, by parents who thought it was a good idea not to vaccinate their kids. Yeah, come on, measles. Come on. It's been a while. Sit down. We, we got some freshly baked bread. Come on in. Have a meal. Have a meal. Yeah. The measles virus? How, how do you just read vaccines cause autism? And, like, are not even curious enough to find out if that's true. And I, I, I genuinely want to know why people are not vaccinating their kids. So if you know some reason why, uh, comment below, like, and subscribe while you're at it. Because, I mean, even if this is the only video that people watch, I'll, I'll be happy. So like and subscribe if you have been vaccinated. Um, if you don't know, ask a parent, please. If you're not vaccinated, go directly to the hospital, forge your parent's signature, and get as many vaccinations as you can. Please. Obviously, you can see this awesome sweatshirt. Um, these are actually for sale right now. We don't have a store, so like, just get in touch with me if you want one. And for a very limited time, we are giving away the dopest shirts on the market. For a very limited time, we are giving these away. These projects, this is a Project Salt t-shirt. It's got the logo here, youtube.com slash Project Salt on the back. It's a real nice just white t-shirt anyway. But for a, a very limited time, for a very limited time and a very limited quantity, um, we are giving these away. So... If you do want one, leave a comment. We'll get in touch with you. We'll get you one uh, if they're still available. But like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Share this video with anybody who's not vaccinated so hopefully they can get vaccinated. Hopefully I've made a convincing enough case to save their life. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay salty. And please, for the love of all that's good and holy, vaccinate your children!